is Bella Dutch from All Saint Night Tarot. Here with another installment from the Fly on the Wall series. This will be my second Fly on the Wall uh, reading for the month of January 2018 since I first in introduced it anyway. Alright, so as you can see, I've already laid the cards and I've also laid my clarifiers down. So I'll tell you about those cards. I have the World card, Judgment, the Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, the Devil, Six of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Justice. For the clarifiers, I have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. That's on the Two of Pentacles. And then on the Ace of Pentacles, I have the Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Fool. And on the Eight of Wands, I got Strength and the Eight Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I didn't really, really beat this too much because I pretty much get the story. I understand it. This could be for any zodiac sign out there, okay? It's not, you know, dumbed down to a particular, you know, zodiac sign, even though the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you could be an Earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and you could also be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? But you could be any sign, all right? I think it's more so bringing up these court cards for the energy, okay? Now... Basically, what's going on in this situation is this is an individual who's married, who's under a lot of pressure, okay? Um, I feel like you're under a lot of pressure due to the fact that you have, a, you have a lot of resources built up with this individual. This person could be your life support financially, okay? On top of that, it may just be the fact that you've put in a lot of time with this individual and you may be a little bit afraid of stepping out into the unknown, now, uh, another thing that I feel, you know, looking at the two of pentacles, I feel like it, it's possible that this could be a cheating situation. Okay. Um, and, and in the terms of the person that is coming in is trying to uh, break you out of a situation that has become unhealthy for you. All right. Because if you, you're with someone and you're no longer... Um, happy where you are and you're no longer teaching one another or growing together, then a lot of times this is around a time where a cheating situation will come up. Okay. Where there's another person that may come in and they may look better for you or, you know, seemingly act better, but there may be a problem with the finances. I feel like the finances is playing a very strong role in these cards. This person you could have been with since you were a child. Okay. Um, high school sweethearts, childhood sweethearts, that sort of thing, okay? And at one time, I'm sure you felt like this relationship, you was going to die in this relationship, meaning that th this this was it. This was the perfect person. Like, you were you're never breaking up until death do you part, all right? But what people don't talk about is things happen along the way that makes that kind of difficult to stay in that partnership, okay? It could have been an unhealthy partnership. It could have been one where there was a lot of drugs, alcoholism, um, infidelity, you know, uh, just a lot of different things. Narcissism, abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, you know, just it could have really been anything. What I feel is that this is an individual who is standing at a crossroads. On one hand, you want to be done with this. Okay, you want to be done. Maybe you've met somebody that have come up. Maybe they met somebody. But there's some intense fear in this reading. Because it looks like spirit is trying to push you out of this to give you something better for yourself. Okay, however... When you get used to living a certain lifestyle, when you get used to having certain things, it's really hard trying to move on and start over with someone new, especially a relationship like this. This is a partnership where it's almost divine. You know, they know you, you know them. They know all of your flaws, all of your secrets, and they've accept you the way you are. But it's time for you to move forward and to you know, take up a new journey, learn a couple other lessons that this person cannot teach you. So, 
Honestly, like the feelings that are going through me is great sadness. Very intense sadness. Even if you got somebody else, you know, it's like, you may have somebody else and they may, may be really cool to you. Maybe you have a great sexual chemistry with that person, but their finances are not there. Okay. Um, maybe this person caters to you a little bit more than your husband or your wife, but they don't offer you that security, especially if you're an earth sign, because earth signs tend to go off of security. They have to be secure. Well, what do you do when security is not enough? It's not enough to keep you here. Because it's no longer stable. It's secure. The finances are going to be taken care of. The bills are paid. But we don't even talk anymore. We, we don't sleep in the same bed no more. I, I've come to not like him. I've come to not like her. And you know what's crazy? You could have tried leaving this person before in the past. Because the world card represents endings, completions. But then judgment could also represent a resurrection. Every time you decided to pick up and leave, maybe this person wind and dined you back. Maybe this person beating your head every day that, what are you going to do without me? You may be dealing with this cocky character here, the King of Swords. King of Swords is very cocky. Uh, someone that could be mentally abusive. If you put the King of Swords with a woman like the Queen of Pentacles, even though the Queen of Pentacles is usually very secure, she can do things on her own, but every single day of going through somebody beating your head down and, and beating your self-esteem down and your ego could make you quite afraid to walk away. You could be afraid. Maybe they told you that you're fat. You got three kids. Who, who gonna want you? You might as well stay with me. Who gonna want you? I'm the only one that's gonna love you. And like I said, it, it has become unhealthy. The devil energy, and you know, I kind of frown upon those people to say, you know, these chains are not really tight. Let me show you this. They look at this devil card and they say, these chains are loose and you could slip this from around your neck and get away. That's not true. There's a male and a female chained to a podium with the third energy sitting in the middle. That third energy in the middle is negativity, control, lust, power. It's a very powerful energy that's sitting in between you. You're chained together with this person. Depending on the cards, it could represent being chained to yourself, being chained to your shadow self, depending on what's there. I honestly feel like this card is representing that for a long time you had to be chained to this individual due to some sort of um, ailment. And that like sick element, I mean like, um, maybe you were homeless when you met this person and this person took you out of that lifestyle and gave you the life that you could only have dreamed of. The devil is a powerful impact. It's not just somebody that you link up with that you just become addicted to. No, this is somebody that you are literally chained to. It could be that type of energy where you feel like you owe them something. 
because they helped you when you were down on your luck. Maybe, you know, one of you were a drug addict. And the other person came along and cleaned you up and, and made you somebody. Made you feel like somebody. The Six of Wands speaks of ego. This is, this is riding high on your horses. This is your reputation. This is the way your relationship looks to the outside public. This could be the secrecy. The codependent relationship. The abusive relationship. But maybe to the outside world, you guys look like you guys have it all together. You look perfect. Your goals to, to the outside world. And I feel like the person that's in the situation is saying, no, this is just codependency. If you knew how I really felt. They came at a time I had nowhere else to go. I feel like, of course, this marriage, this situation between you, is an opportunity with this hangman. To recognize some of your flaws that you may carry. For you to recognize your codependent behaviors. For you to see who you are truly. A lot of people have a hard time doing that. You can blame others for your problems. You can take out your issues on other people. That's all good and dandy. But it's very hard for a person to look at themselves. Even me. Even me. I feel like you kept running back. Because you were afraid. You were afraid to start over, especially with these cards here. You know, this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, yes, it speaks of an opportunity, but it's very small. Because it's only a seed compared to the Ten of Pentacles that you had over here in this relationship. I feel like these three cards together, Four of Cups... Knight of Pentacles and a Fool says, I don't want to start over again. I don't want to start over. I don't want to start from the bottom. I've put in time, energy, effort, tears, and I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid to start over. I'm afraid that when I get with this new person, even though they're cool and dandy while I'm in a marriage, and I'm creeping off with him or I'm creeping off with her. They don't really know me. And what if they don't accept my flaws the way my husband, the way my wife did? Am I making the right decision? This is about the eight of wands here with justice. Is about having the strength to move forward when you don't have a clue of how the outcome is going to turn out. That's the lesson that you need to learn here. You can't go backwards because it's no longer healthy. And you're afraid to go forward because you can't see what forward looks like. I feel like with this justice card being here, although you cannot see what is ahead of you. Justice about, justice is about, let me take a drink. My mouth is so dry. Okay. Justice is about your past. Your past behaviors, the way you've done others, the way you've treated others, and how things will turn out for you based off of your past actions or your past behavior towards others. And what I honestly feel from this reading is Spirit is telling you, 
Go ahead. We got you. Go ahead. It's safe for you to walk away. I know you had a lot. I know it's a lot to give up. But that eight of cups. We know. But you've been so good to that person. You no longer deserve the abuse that this individual gives you. You no longer deserve to be treated the way this person treats you. Just, just take one step and we'll take ten. Just do it. You've been good to others in your past with the justice card here. And we promise we'll be good to you. But first you have to trust us. First you have to grab this sword. And you got to cut out the past. Cut out what you've been holding on to. It's time to cut it off and to move forward. There's two aces here. It speaks of brand new beginnings. An opportunity. But it's going to require a sacrifice. And that sacrifice is we can give you something better. Even though your thoughts say it's going to take a long time to rebuild everything that I built with this person. We can do it for you. But first, take a step forward and get yourself out of this thing that's unhealthy. Hey, I totally understand. You guys think I don't understand, but I really do. I do. When the camera's rolling, I got to save face and I got to put on that face of, of strength because I deal with a lot of things. I deal with a lot of people, a lot of clients, and sometimes they're not always nice. Sometimes they do all kind of shit to me. And sometimes I don't handle things in a proper way either. <laughs> sometimes I have to argue. And that's not right. It doesn't make it right. I could admit my wrongs. But this is tough. This, this this job, you know, anybody that want to take up this job is very tough. It's not going to be just easy. You don't just lay a reading and that's all done. No. That's the easy part is laying a reading and reading it when nobody is talking to you. Nobody's talking back. But when you get on the phone with these clients, people want to, they want change. They want help. They want to move forward in their life. They want to feel loved. They want to feel happy. They want to put things back in track. Okay. They want to get out of certain situations. They need you. And sometimes they can be quite violent and rude. And it pulls on your energy a lot. And when you do this as much as I do this, you're bound to step out of pocket with some people. But that's only because I have passion. Because I want to see you win. And I want to see you get out and heal. I love you guys. You can hit me up for a personal reading at allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Look in the description box below to check the pricing for the month of January. Hit me up. We can talk about it. Whatever you're going through, I'll help you. My feelings are not exempt. I feel too. When the camera ain't rolling, I cry too. Okay? So I do understand. I love you guys. Until next time. This was The Fly on the Wall.